Hi everyone. <laughs> I hope this finds you well wherever wherever that may be. Um, I wanted to send out a quick uh, video message uh, with some explanation because I'm about to post uh, some extra credit um, opportunity on our uh, Canvas page. And um, there are parts of it that are very straightforward and then there's parts where there's definitely a lot of opportunity for confusion too. So I thought rather than trying to type out a big long uh, explanation that's terrible to try to read through. Um, at the very least, I would try to kind of just explain it in video format and hopefully it will uh, make a lot more sense that way. So, okay, let's try. So the uh, opportunity that is going to, you're going to find, I'm going to post in the modules here uh, as soon as I get this posted for you, is uh, an extra credit quiz. Now, mind you, this quiz is, uh, it's constructed uh, the kind of the same way that the exams are, but um, in a very different way. So it, it, it's not proctored at all. Um, it is not timed. It is uh, multiple attempts um, and it's open book, open note, open everything. So you can take it as many times as you want to. Um, it will retain your highest uh, score and so um, hopefully this will be a good um, a good good way to pick up uh, points for those who want or need it for the class okay here's the part where it gets a little more murky so uh, there are 40 points available within it it's a 40 multiple choice uh, setup and you'll see when you get into the explanation piece that the way that this had been constructed is that there's a, a total of 40 points available, but the amount of points, the number of points that any one person can achieve is going to be dictated by the score you got on the midterm. So all this means is whatever your score on the midterm had been, out of the 250 points possible, whatever that spread is between those scores, you can earn half that much. Okay, what that means is, so say you scored a 200 out of the 250 points available. Um, so 50 point spread between your score and the total possible, which means you would have 25 points available that you could earn that'll get added on to your grade. Reasonably simple, right? So whatever the difference between the 250 and your score, you can earn half of that. And then of course, if the spread is sufficiently big, um, where you get to the full 40 points, then it's just 40 points the rest of the way down the scale. So a total of 40, irrespective. Um, the one thing that you'll see that I made a big sort of note at the top with an asterisk and bold face type and all this is that one of the things I didn't like about the way this was set up was that for instance those there were several of you who did really well on the midterm nice job by the way I see you um but it puts you in a strange place uh because for instance if you scored 246 out of the 250 you got a whole four point spread which means you could earn up to two possible extra credit points and while, sure, I mean, if you're, if you're performing that well um, on the exams and stuff like that, you probably are going to be not so much in a position of needing as much extra credit. Nevertheless, I don't like the idea of making such a scant amount available just because you did well on the midterm. So the only change that I made in there, and this is where there's, you know, potential confusion with this, um, for everybody irrespective of what your score was, there's a minimum available of 10 points. So that's to say, if you only had that four point spread, thus would only be two points available to you. No, you can get up to 10, um, no matter how close that was. Of course, you still have to go in, earn the 10 points, you know, but if you go in and answer 10 questions within the quiz and get the 10, then you're all good to go. So minimum of 10, upwards of 40, and, you know, with open notes, open everything and multiple attempts and no, you know, time limit to take it, hopefully that is going to really free you up to uh, be able to pick up 
you know, whatever points you want or need uh, moving forward. So um, hopefully that's sufficiently clear. And um, I'm going to, like I say, make that available and put it up now. There's instructions included within that um, too. So um, I hope that helps. I'm sure nobody's feelings are going to be too hurt by um, extra credit options. Um, I've made it available for pretty much the rest of the term. So I think the only uh, the, like due date that I put on it is like the Friday of finals week, uh, midnight of Friday of finals week. So basically right before all the final grades would have to be in. So that should hopefully afford you plenty of time to, uh, to fit it in wherever that makes sense for you. All right. That's probably enough for now. I'm going to get back to trying to get other things done. So, um, take care. Uh, we will be in touch and, uh, we'll talk soon.